I think in covering D.C., the, the time that I did, one of the most memorable episodes and of, of consequence was the, the reform movement in the House that you and Congressman Udall and Congressman Adams and, and Julia Butler Hansen undertook. Yeah. How do you feel about it now? Do, do you think it... Uh, well, I think uh, I think a lot of things worked as well as you hoped it would. Yeah, I think it worked pretty well. But I learned very early on by that experience, by the way, where we changed the, one of the things that we were reforming was restructuring some of the committees and changing some of the rules and seniority and so on. Yeah, essentially you you diminish seniority or right, yeah. almost limit it in, in committee assignments. And, and we challenge. created a new method of selecting people yeah. for committees. I learned, you know, that. There isn't any public issue. Uh, today it would be the war in Iraq, or then it was the Vietnam War, whatever. That comes even close to creating the emotions that you create in the Congress when you start dealing with the structure uh, and changing the rules by which people advance or by which they have committee assignments or whatever. And the anger and the actually fury that some members had uh, during that time taught me a, a big lesson. Only do this if it's really important because you stir up uh, tremendous animosity. And, and when, I remember nothing, I don't remember anybody saying anything as harshly to another member as I heard members speak to each other during that period. One of them said uh, something like, Shelby, uh, you know, you'll think that I've forgotten this, but I won't. I will not have forgotten it. And I'll be friendly on the exterior with you. But sometime when you're very, very vulnerable and your back is turned, I will put the knife right mm. between your <laughs> Don't forget, I'm not forgetting. So this was a, a tough lesson. I made the mistake in that, I guess you'd call it a mistake, of uh, rightly identifying uh, Congresswoman Julia Butler Hansen, who I'm sure you knew and loved as being a part of that. that uh, oh, yeah. Well, she, she was the chair of the special committee. That, yeah. Jim. And she uh, didn't want to be identified with it and got very harsh with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, she had a lot to do with it. She was, uh, she was a fantastic, yeah. uh, she, another wonderful figure of the, of the Congress in the state of Washington. Did you get on with her pretty good? Oh, I got along well with Julia. There was only one way to get along with Julia, of course, which was to do what Julia wants you to do. And not, <laughs> you not have to have a drink with her now and then. Yeah, too. yeah. Uh, well, yeah, she was uh, um, a, a couple of martinis in, you know, she would give you the word about what she expected and hoped you would do. And, and not so much hope, but expected. But she was, she was a great member. When Brock Adams and Lloyd Meade, who tragically just recently died, and Floyd Hicks were all elected together in 1964. Uh, there was only one uh, uh, Democrat in the House at the time, okay. and uh, Julia. Julia Hansen. And it was we changed the ratio from one to six to five to two. Uh, and all of us, I think, owed uh, tremendously uh, both Maggie and Scoop, but particularly Scoop who worked very hard in that election and, and had encouraged each one of us to run. Mm -hmm.